So I'm here with uh, AAB and Gangsterville. I heard about your song Bad News. Uh, how'd you guys come up with that title? Well, you know, it came a time when I was like, you know what? Me and AB got to work on some Florida stuff. You know what I mean? And then I thought about AAB, and I thought about Gangsterville, and I was like, you know what? If those two Florida boys got together on a track, that would be nothing but bad news. Precise. All right. Um, AAB, you're from uh, from where now? Palm Beach County, five six eight. Gainesville, you were from? Gainesville, Florida. Well, like Chiefland, Archer, Newberry. All right. Um, now I see you. You guys are repping hard for your state of Florida. How do you feel about the state, the current state of Florida hip hop? Florida hip hop is at a whole nother stance in this era of time right now. I mean, you got a lot of bullshit coming out in the um, charts these days, you know what I mean? So bullshit overcrowds everything, you know what I mean? So it's just shit falling from the fly, uh, falling from the goddamn sky. So real people, real music isn't allowed to surface as it has been in the past. So. As all of the rural music everywhere, Georgia, Atlanta, California, New York, is getting smothered in shit. A B, what are your thoughts on that? I pretty much, you know, feel the same way. I just feel like, you know, like you said, from the South, you know, a lot of people think that niggas from the South can't rap, and it's a lot of niggas from the South that can rap, and it's like real lyrical and really talented, not just dancing and not just you know, making club music, but niggas actually got something to say, but bring some lyrical content to it, too. And, you know, I think it's just time for some real lyrical South niggas to just pop off. I mean, we got a few that's popped off, but, you know, just pop off. Like, I mean, especially from our areas, you know, Palm Beach and Gainesville, you know, we're just trying to make a name for our cities, you know? All right. Um, AAB, speaking of lyrics, you have a song in your upcoming album, I'm entitled Lyrical Bond. Ladies, baby, and I got about 80 ladies. Don't try to fake me because the 380 won't let you play me, baby. There they go. You niggas ducking, dodging, and running because I'm coming. I'm bringing heat because I'm lyrically gunning. Over instrumentals, I'm a nightmare like my name, Freddie. The greatest I'm not. I leave my uh, steady. Talk to us about the album and, and Lyrical Bomb in particular. Well, basically on the album, uh, you getting me. The album is called Land of the Palm Trees, which is basically talking about my, my city or whatever, my county or whatever. And, uh... You know, Lyrical Bomb is just, I want to just let it be known that I am an MC. You know, I, I, I got a lot of songs, there's going to be a lot of variety. You're going to hear a bunch of different things that you probably wouldn't expect from me. But Lyrical Bomb is going to set the pedestal for the album, basically. You know, I'm bringing, it's just mad punchlines, a bunch of lyrics, and just, you know, just thought-provoking shit. Right on. You know? All right. And uh, Gangsterville. Yes, sir. Um, I heard you have a solo project coming out well. Would you like to talk about that? And uh, that song, my personal favorite, All By Myself? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what I mean? I decided it's time for me to put together a song to represent my heritage. And I don't want to say my city because a lot of people, I look at a lot of people as being Gainesville people. A Gainesville person to me is just a cool, down-to-earth type person. Hence for the person like Clinton Porter's who's also from Gainesville, you can just look at the way he acts in the media. That's just your typical average Gainesville brother. And I saw that in AAP when I met him. And I also saw that in this young, talented, freestyle artist whom I met through the Black Actors Guild. I don't know, some dude by the name of KC, but yeah, that, that guy can rap real good as well. Yeah, yeah, KC tight. But um, you know what I mean? I just want to put my heritage on an album and let everybody understand me, you know what I mean? Therefore, if I make it anywhere, when I make it everywhere, let me rephrase that, when I make it everywhere in the game, there will be this one diamond in the rough from way, way back in the days when I was in Tallahassee working at Lowe's, a semester left at University of Florida uh, State, got there, Florida State University, you know what the hell I mean. Anyway, it was be this album that came back way, way then that explains everything about me. Therefore, I'll tell all of my, you want to know about me? Get that. It ain't even got a name yet. When I name you, y'all going to see it on video. But hey, I'm going to say, 
get? Um, let's talk about that track All By Myself that you have. All By Myself, right, right. Well, you know, a lot of times I be on the go, but sometimes I just like to chill by myself, you know what I mean? You be in the studio a lot, you be in the library a lot, you be at the job, you be at this chick house, you know, you gotta hear this and that. Sometimes you just wanna just go home, light up a doobie, you know, get you some black and mild wines, you know what I mean? You just ENJ with that Sierra Miss, you know what I'm saying? Watch TV, write rhymes, do whatever you wanna do by yourself. Especially when you come home and if you live by yourself or your roommate's not home, you can just engulf the atmosphere all alone by yourself, you know what I mean? So I dedicated this song to all the good times that I've had by myself. But also, I also wanted to put in the song a lot of knowledge being dropped about what's going on in the world. So if you listen to the first track, it talks about me being by myself, but it's in another metaphorical sense. It's in me being by myself and my road to finding the ultimate knowledge. Because there's few who follow that road in today's life, which we're living in. The wine message. Anyway, but the second verse of the song just gets into talking about everyday average things that we do by ourselves and having a good time. Well, uh, thank you, AAB, for your time. Thank you, Gangsterville. Um, this has been Keeping It Real. Yes, sir.